Today in Minecraft, we became Mr. Feast's one millionth subscriber. That's why he invited us to his one dollar versus one million dollar job challenge. We had to go from cleaning up houses to working at McDonald's. We even become pro race car drivers. Stick around until the end of the video to see more of these crazy jobs. There's no way Mr. Feast gives out that much money. That's insane. Wait, what are you talking about, Melon? Let me get a good look at this. No way. He just gave that person 10 thousand diamonds that's absolutely insane sonny and he's such a good guy dude i've got to subscribe bro that was one of the coolest videos i think i've ever seen oh kind of made me feel a bit sleepy though we've been binging mr feast videos for hours yeah bro oh, i'm ready to hit the hay mm -hmm. good night melon tomorrow let's watch the next 25 episodes of mr feast i can't wait sonny uh, what is that sound? Dude, it's like 7 a.m. Who is knocking on our door right now? Mr. Feast! What's going on? Congratulations, Sonny and Lemon. You are the lucky 1 million subscribers to the channel. Let's go! Melon, can you believe it? Well, uh, actually, Mr. Feast, it's pronounced Melon. And also, we're two separate people. How does that even work? Well, your channel name was Sonny and Melon, so that's both of you. And here I am. You want to be in our next video? Whoa. What's your next video? One versus one million dollar job, and you get to keep all of the money from the video. Oh. Uh. Do we want to be in the next video, Sonny? Yes, we do! Melon, yes! We're gonna be rich! A million dollars! Come on, think about it! It was a test, Sonny! Of course I want to be in this next video! Let's go! This is the one dollar job. You must scrap out dead bushes, seagrass, and those glow things to make a couple of nickels, and then sell them to the villager houses. You need five of each to earn 20 cents, and you'll be competing against each other, so good luck! No way, Melon! Check it out! There's Two giant arrows. Well, Sonny, I bet you I'm gonna clean mine better than yours. No chance, no chance. I'm out of here. Speed run by swimming. Come on, let me swim. Nice one, Sonny. I'm way quicker than you by land. No way, no way. You just got to the house before me. Yep, hardcore parkour. Now all I've gotta do is clean up these vines. Scrape it up, Melon, scrape it up. We're not even really competing. We're working together. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, I gotta make everything a competition sometimes. It does make it more fun. Oh, this house is gonna be sparkling clean. Absolutely here. Oh, no, I just threw my shears. Where did my shears go? Oh, I found them again. Melon, don't you think these vines are just gonna regrow anyways? We are in a swamp. Yes, yeah, Sonny, but that's part of the job, dude. Maintenance? We gotta do this every week? Every day. Vines grow super fast. Bruh. And I'm done, Sonny. My house is spotless and sparkling. At least we get paid a lot for it. Uh, yeah, we get paid so much. One whole dollar! <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. We're kind of broke. Well, Sonny, I'm gonna go collect my payment from Mr. Feast. Yo, chill. I'm almost done. I got a couple vines left. And she's perfect. Well, Mr. Feast, I cleaned up my house. It's time for my one dollar payment. Actually, it's 50 cents because this whole job is one dollar. Um... I can't really split an emerald in half, so you're kind of getting nothing in this round. What? What is wrong with you? Wait a second. That's not cool. Whatever. At least it was just the cheapest job. Let's go to the next one. Whoa. No way. We're going to work at a fast food restaurant. Sonny, this is a five-star gourmet McDonald's. I can already tell. This is probably a $10,000 job. Oh, yes, you're right, Melon. I can tell by the grease in the atmosphere. Mm. Welcome to the $100 job. This one is pretty simple. Make five McDonald's meals and then ship those five items to five customers. Grab your chef costumes and good luck. Your time starts now. By the way, this challenge is a competition. Only one of you can win. I'm gonna destroy you! Chef costume. Chef costume. I'm one step ahead of you, Sonny. Dang it! Dang it! I got the cheese, the bread, the knife. What else do I need? I gotta cut the cheese. Wait, Melon, you stole the knife! Yep, I got my whole kit right here, actually. And I'm cutting yo cheese. Give me that! No, stay away from my cheese. I'll cut you. Okay, 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 okay. Dude, this is my kitchen. That's your kitchen. I'm getting to cooking. Yeah, slice and dice. Wait a second. I don't even know what orders I'm supposed to make. Wait, yeah, that's actually a good point. Okay, let me think about it carefully. I need to probably prepare some fine cuisine. Bro, everyone just wants a Big Mac here. I'm making a Big Mac! But where's the lettuce? Where's the lettuce? 
Dude, obviously Big Mac has cheese, bacon, chicken, and then you add another bacon in there. Melon, I'm looking for the vegetables. I guess we're not serving any. Oh, yeah. Wait, where are the veggies? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. Oh, thanks for doing all this work. Appreciate it. No, Sonny! And then I take my delivery outfit and I get to work. Got a blast. My goodness. Did you even make your five meals? Yeah, I did. I stole all your chicken and fries and bacon and cheese. Bro, he probably didn't even construct a Big Mac. Let me show you how it's done. Cheese, bacon, chicken, and just a little bit of love, and you'll make yourself a Big Mac. Where are my customers? I gotta deliver some food. All right, there's gotta be somebody living in this house right about here. And there is. Here you go, sir. One cooked chicken with some bacon and a side of cheese. Please enjoy it. I'm a little behind Sonny, but I've got my five Big Macs. There's no way he created such a fine recipe. Hello? Is anybody here? What's up with this place? It kind of looks like a prison. Where are my customers? I guess Mr. Feast didn't say this job would be easy. Hold on a second. Wait, where's the truck? Where's the truck? Oh, no. I'm gonna have to deliver my food by foot. Here you go, sir. I know you ordered the Big Mac. Boom! Actually, I didn't order the Big Mac, but thanks. I love me some Big Mac. You're welcome. Finally, another customer. Excuse me, sir. What did you order? Please remind me. I ordered a double cheeseburger and a Big Mac. Well, we don't have that. Instead, I've got blocks of cheese. Please enjoy. Sonny! That's not the right order. I've got your Big Mac, sir. Are you kidding me? How did you even make a burger? Don't worry about it. And that's two deliveries done, Sonny. I'm only three more Big Macs away from victory. Not good. I've only made two deliveries as well. You're the one that took the delivery car. Dang you, Sonny. <laughs> Got a blast. See you, nerd. Oh, I crashed it. Well, no more delivery truck. Hopefully, there's some customers in this neighborhood. Nope, nobody in here. And low key, I just realized I'm kind of just breaking into people's homes to deliver them food that they probably didn't even ask for. Ah, beautiful job, really. Oh, finally, my last Big Mac. I didn't order a Big Mac. I actually order a cooked chicken. Oh, well, I got that too. So here you go. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. And now, I've won! Oh, this isn't good, guys. I haven't found a customer in a long time. Wait a second. What's up, brother? Don't tell me. Melon already delivered to you, didn't he? He gave me that cooked chicken. It was kind of cold, though. Well, what about some hot, fresh bacon? Nice treat. Thanks. Oh, I just need to find two more customers. Mr. Feast, I did it. I did five whole deliveries. That means you've won, and your prize is 100 emeralds. Yes! Oh! I'm rich! You think that's a lot? Wait until you see the next job. No way. I'm gonna make even more money than this. I finally did it. All my food's been delivered. Ah. <sighs> All in a day's work, Mr. Feast. Oh, it's about time you got here. Melon finished hours ago. What? Melon, there's no way you finished before me. Yep, Sonny. You should have spent more time in the kitchen. Dang it. Mr. Feast, take us to the next job. I'm not gonna mess up this time. This is the $1,000 job. All you have to do is collect as many animals as you can and bring them to the barn. The only rule is you can't use leashes. No leashes? Then what are we gonna do? I know what to do, Melon. I have to become a professional farmer. And I'm off. Give me this wheat. I will use this to attract... What does wheat attract? I think it's cows. Oh, it's cows and sheep, you big old idiot. But I'm not done here. I need to grab carrots so I can also attract the pigs. Oh, Betsy. Get off of that post and come with me. I've got all the wheat you'll need. Wait, there's so many sheep in this area. I can just attract them all. Come on, cows. Follow me. Back to the barn house. Oh, smell the wheat. It's good for you. Follow me, sheep. I've got a lot of wheat. Yes, I am raising an army. Or dare I say it, grazing an army. <laughs> Get it? Because they're animals and they graze. Need to break this fence, dang it. Here we go. Come here, sheepies. Come here. And I want to attract at least one more sheep so I have a complete collection. Yes, this is good. Over here, little buddy. I know you can smell the wheat. Follow me in here. Sonny, remember, I claim the right side of the farm. Arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, left. I don't know the difference. What I do know is I've got an army of animals on the way. Yeah, so do I, Sonny. Actually, I don't really. That was a lie. Cows, over here. Over here. Hello, Mr. Sheep and Mr. Cow. Melon, I am about to capture three cows and three sheep. No way. You're getting six animals at once? Dang right I am. I'm 
I'm ruthless. Bro, I'm only at five animals. I need more meat. Everybody come on in. Come on in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then feast upon the wheat. Close the gate. Beautiful. I even have a gray baby sheep now. Oh, that's adorable. Dang it, bro. Wait, you have a baby? Guys, this gives me an idea. Why don't I just breed my animals to make more of them? Yes! And now I need some carrots to collect some piggies. Oh, check it out. I've produced two baby sheep. Maybe this could get me the win. I wonder if I put the carrot in the offhand. It still works! This is brilliant! Come on, my piggies! All the piggertons this way! Hey, get out of here! Hey, piggies, follow me! No, no, follow me! No, my carrot's better. No, I'm pretty sure my carrot's better. M melon, go away. These are- Melon, you said you can't go near my animals! Oh, yeah, I did say that, didn't I? Well, good thing that these are my animals. Stay away from my animals, Sonny! What are you talking about? Yeah, you can have those two pigs. I don't want them. I got four. M melon, you can't just beat up my pigs! Ah, there was no rules against that! Bro, you scared them. You literally frightened them. Oh, let's see if you like it. No! Now, piggies and sheep, come with me. Come to papa. Melon, Melon, stop being a cheater. Go get your own pigs. All right, fine. Are you serious? If he wants to play dirty, I'll play dirty. Where's my little gray sheep? Somewhere in here. Whatever. Here, make more babies. Come on, come on. Sonny, there's only 30 seconds left. All right, I'm wrangling my animals. I got Jeb and Jeb too. Hey, Melon, time's up. Wait, what are you talking about, bro? I still got some animals here. Do you? Do you really? <laughs> Get out of here! And Melon, let me show you my pen. I have a bunch of cows, a bunch of sheep, and the best part is, I've even got chickens! No! Sonny, that's impossible! I got a lot of chickens. Bro. Are you kidding me? You probably got some on your rooftop too. No, I don't, bro. What is this? <laughs> You're so annoying, Sonny. Whatever! Congrats, Sonny! You are the winner of the $1,000 job. Let's go. Cough them up, Mr. Feast. I need those emeralds now. I'm rich. 1,000 emeralds. Well, Sonny, it's fine because I know I'll win the next job. Welcome to the $100,000 job. In this job, you will be racers. Let's go, Melon. I was born for this. No, I was born for this, Sonny. I'm about to win myself $100,000. Whatever. Rev your engine and get ready to race it begins in three two one go wait i didn't even start my car you cheat well then i guess you just weren't born to be a race car driver huh well usually you have more of a head start than three seconds i don't know bro it doesn't take that long to start your engine bruh i'm coming and i'm gonna win this sonny mark my words that's what you think bro oh no nice one dude nice one and now i'm taking a shortcut sure Cut. Yeah, what if that gets you trapped and you die? Oh, no. I just crashed as well. And I just got one lap completed. It's okay, though. I know I'll catch up. No! I got trapped! <laughs> nice one, Melon. There's no catching me now. Eat my dust! I can get out of here. Surely I can get out of here. Hey, Melon. I literally just lapped you. Two lap! I don't know what you're talking about, Sonny! Goodbye! Dang it. Wait, you're in the floor right now. Oh, I crashed. I didn't crash, which means I'm in the lead, right? That's how that works. You're not in the lead, bro. I literally lapped you. I don't know what you're talking about, Sonny. I did that second lap. No, you didn't. That's cap. Everyone knows I'm about to win. Yeah? Are you really about to win? Jimmy, come on. Give me something to stop him. Give me no! I did it. Three laps completed. That was pretty cool, guys, but this was the practice race. But let's go to the real one. Let's go! That was a practice race. You are so lucky. Sonny, I knew that the whole time. Whoa, here we are at the real racetrack. Let the games begin. And go! Get out of here. Melon takes the lead, slows down. Sonny, Sonny, stop hitting me. You're the one crashing into me, bro. This track's actually not easy. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race, Sonny. Oh, I'm going off. I'm going off. Except, what the heck? Did I even crash on there? Good. Keep crashing. Keep smashing.
smash in that vehicle. It won't happen again. Oh, 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 oh. Wow! I just ran you over, bro. <laughs> He's so annoying. Dude, I crashed on you. You might kill me here. Where did you go? Are you under the stairs? Bro, I'm killing it. Oh, come on. Oh, why is the track all poopy? Bro, you were the one that farted and dookied on it. Dude, you're literally ahead of me, so it had to be you. You want to do F1 rules? 70 laps? What the heck just happened? I got trapped. Oh, the pressure plates. They block you. Come on, let me up. Let me up. Yes, yes. I can't believe it. I might actually win this race. Bro, I'm stuck on the stairs. Let me drive. Final. I'm gonna win. Let's go. No, Melon, that was only lap one out of 70. No, we're not doing 70 laps, bro. It's one out of one. Are you kidding me? How did you beat me? Because I, sir, am the Melon Goat. Well, congratulations, Melon. You're the winner of the race. You have won 100,000 emeralds. Let's go! Sonny, I'm rich. You don't need to brag about it, bro. Besides, there's still one more job. The ultimate one million dollar job. This is the last job, and you will become archaeologists. Whoever can clean the sand and discover the most beautiful great fossils and take a picture of it will win one million emeralds. Oh my goodness. I'm so into archaeology. I love dinosaurs. And I'm gonna turn you into a fossil melon because I'm gonna bury you in this desert. The heck are you talking about, Sonny? Relax. It's just a job. I just want to get paid a lot of emeralds. It's not that big of a deal. I've got my shovel, my spyglass, and my camera. I'm gonna take some sick snaps. First fossil! Got it! No! Oh, that was a beautiful first photo. Now it's time for me to dig out some fresh fossils. These fossils gotta be around here somewhere. There's gotta be something showing a sign of them. <gasps> Yo! Fossil up ahead! Are you kidding me? I thought I was digging in the perfect location. Oh, Sonny, there's one right next to you. There's a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex skull. Yes, and I'm trying to uncover it. You can't just take a photo before you uncover a fossil. You just did that exact same thing. Nah, that other one was fully exposed. Whatever bro. You can have that lame Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm gonna be uncovering this ancient fossil. Good luck with that, Melon, because I'm almost done revealing this T-Rex smile. It's perfect! I can see his teeth completely! Now I take the camera out and snap a pic. Melon, that's two amazing photos so far. You know what? I actually want a side angle of this. Just look at those teeth. Oh, that is a nice shot. Frame it up and captured. I don't even know what dinosaur this is. It looks like its face got chopped in half, but I'm taking a photo of it nonetheless. I don't have a lot of time. I've got to run over to the next fossil. No way. This one's already completely unearthed. Just got to get an aerial shot. Yeah, got to climb this tree. Wait, you're trying to take a photo of this fossil? Yeah, I am, Sonny. Boom! I already took the photo. Hold on. Get my good side. <laughs> yeah, you look... Oh, dude. Are you are you showing your butt to the camera? Maybe. Maybe. Gross, bro. Gross. Well, Melon, I'm pretty happy with my photo of that T-Rex skull. There's no chance you could beat it. We'll see about that, Sonny. Quantity over quality, as I always say. That makes no sense. Jimmy! Mr. Feast! I got my pictures. Take Take a look. Wow, that shot of the T-Rex was incredible. I've never seen anything like that. Jimmy, Jimmy, check mine out. Who cares about a T-Rex? Everyone knows about it. Over there is a completely unknown dinosaur. I really don't care about that, to be honest. It doesn't even look like a dinosaur. Jimmy, this is an unknown scientific discovery. Whatever. It doesn't really get clicks. I declare the winner of this challenge, and that would be Sunny. You get one million emeralds. No way. We're rich. I mean, I'm rich. Give me these emeralds. Wait a second. Second. Mr. Feast, what's up with the name of these emeralds, huh? Ah, yes, we use prop money in all of our films. Also, I'm not paying you for these jobs. See ya! Are you kidding? And then he just leaves us in the middle of a desert? <sighs> well, Sonny, at least the emeralds he gave me earlier were real. Oh, yeah, good point. No! How did he do that? I swear these were normal before. Goats, please press that like button to help turn these fake emeralds back to normal. And subscribe.